are the businessmen that you most admire? Um, and women. Yeah, yeah. Well, I admire I admire all the sharks. All, all due respect. Um, of course, I, I admire Jeff Bezos probably the most because. Yo. Having a vision of a global brand and also being able to think scrappy. I mean, he just released something, you know, probably uh, about three months ago. He said, if you're working over at Amazon and you want to make some extra money on your way home, you want to drop off boxes, you can drop off boxes. So Damn. what did that do? That gives my employees, I know my employees ain't going to mess up the boxes because they know they got to come back to work. Right. right. They're making a couple of extra dollars. Right. I'm reducing my outlay of costs for shipping and billing. Right. That's thinking like an entrepreneur. Mm. So I value people like like that. I also value people who change the world. You know, okay. Steve Jobs, Phil Knight. When people come up with an idea and a concept, uh, uh, Tesla dude. Uh, Elon uh, Musk. When you come up with something that's going to change the way the planet exists. That's right. It's too, fast. It's too, it's too much for me to think about. It's yeah. too big. Yeah, that's that's I think that's my white whale. You know what I'm saying? Finding that one thing that kind of shifts the culture or shifts uh the generation's existence. Yeah. I think we all have that capability, man. It's just about how we tap into it and how we execute it. Uh which you've done time and time again. You you and Mark Cuban, you talk a lot, right? Talk to Mark a lot? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we talk a lot. So, can you share like some of the key things as it relates to business? that you guys have shared, like things you've taught him, things he's taught you? I can't tell you what <clears throat> I've taught him, you know, because <laughs> he ain't never going to admit it. You know what I'm saying? Um, let me see what I, I've learned. I mean, a lot of stuff that we reinforce in PowerShift, what I've learned from him, because he's, he's in PowerShift. Because PowerShift is, I have I have about 12 subjects in PowerShift, from Chris uh, Chris Jenner to Pitbull to Mark Cuban to a lot of other people. Right. Um, Mark Cuban uh, told me that, no matter what the business is, you need to be hands on with the business. Mm. Um, you need to learn. You need to learn what's going on. And you need to check in. Don't think other people are gonna run it just like you. And I and okay, we we all know that. But remember, he had a challenge over at the Mavs office. You know, okay. uh, there was a there was a, a challenge about maybe wrong management were treating women not in a, a correct manner. And I remember when I went to Dallas one time, I was like, yo, Mark, let me come by the office. Let me come check out the office, man. I want, I want to see how a basketball organization runs. Right. He was like, I ain't been in the office in three years. Because <laughs> when he was home in New York, oh, it was, excuse me, when he was home in Dallas, he wanted to be with his son. Right. But what happened when the cat was away? The management was, was, was not doing the right thing. Right. And then the people who were suffering, they would only see Mark on the sidelines at the Mavs game. You can't come over to him then and go, yo, you know, you know what happened in the office yesterday? So, right. so when he found out, he made a lot of changes and he started going over to the office because he said no matter what level you get to, when the cat is away, the mouse will play. Absolutely. That's, I mean, that's an amazing piece of information to take away. Um, Pitbull shared an interesting concept in your book about tapping into your inner power and your inner power. He said a lot of people feel that powerful is to exude strength. I think it's the total opposite. To be powerful is to be powerless. It's when you give everybody what you got. That's pretty profound. That's yeah. pretty profound. It's walking in the room, make, you know, it's walking in the room making everybody feel special and saying, I have all this, whatever you want to use right. of this, well, let's discuss it. You know what I mean? Stripping yourself of all of your armor and giving it to them. You know, I walk in rooms now and, you know, it could be intimidating because you've been somebody who was watching me on TV for 11 years and right. I notice the room gets quiet a lot of times and right. they're going to think, you know, well, this guy's brilliant. I'm... I'm probably half as smart as half the rooms I'm walking into. That makes sense. And when you walk in the room and say that, hey, everybody, you know, and you go sure, like. Sure, they're hey, much more smarter guys than me. Yeah, yo, yeah, <laughs> a lot of you guys here are smarter and wealthier than me. What's up, man? I'm, 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 I'm glad we're having a good time. The only difference between you and me is you're a shark. I'm a shark. I just have a camera on me all the time. And I sit next to an asshole named Kevin O'Leary. That's, <laughs> that's the only difference. And when I, and when I say that, you let, they let their guards down. Right. I notice when I'm speaking to colleges, you know, the professors are, you know, chilling like this. And when I, I just open up and be very honest. I'll be like, you know what, I'm not here to talk to you about macro and micro financing and stuff like that. Actually, the professors here can give me a PhD on it. And thank you, professors, for spending the time to invest in our future. Then all of a sudden, you see the, Now they get up. Now they're the interested. Up yeah, this guy knows what he's talking you about know, here. Like, you know, they, <laughs> I disarm them. Right. Other than that, if I don't disarm them, they may object. They can't object really to me because I'm telling you my story. You right. can't object to my story. But the it's, minute it's you, unique to you, yeah. The minute you start talking about some craziness, 
There's some people out there to pull your panties down. You know what I mean? Now that's, so, a, now that's the key. That's the key, guys. You know what I'm saying? Stop walking in the room with the tough shit because the way you present yourself with the, is the way you will be received. 